Okay, it looks like we are live. And so it always takes me just a little bit to figure out what's going on and if I actually uh, am up and running. So that is the meaning behind the blank stare that you see on my face every time I'm going live with Zoom. <laughs> I, I promise I am here and present. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I am. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to get into the rhythm of this, but that that awkward delay between Zoom and Facebook, it's like, what is this? And of course, they're always updating software and doing this and that. And so, you you know, what you think you're starting to understand changes. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century of technology, right? Well, this is Transform Tuesday. I'm Donna Lewis, and this is Breathe Life Ministries. Transform Tuesday comes from my book, Toxic to Transformed, 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. And each Tuesday, we get into the devotional, and we walk through one of the devotionals together. So with that, if you are with me right now, go ahead and give me a shout out. I am going to be checking the comments. God willing, I'll be able to see them. <laughs> and I will respond. Um, it, it is always so much more impactful when we have participation and interaction. Because again, your comments matter. Your comments matter because the more you comment, the more Facebook helps me out getting the word out, but more so, much more so, your comments are valuable because you're going to process this devotional a little differently than I'm going to process it. And your comments are going to impact another person's life in the kingdom of God your comments are going to be a powerful force in someone's life. So please, even if you're watching on the recast, share your comments, share this video so that others can benefit from God's word. And with that, let's dive in. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And here we go. And I'm going to blow this up. Transform Tuesday. This is the scripture that we are diving into. Isaiah 62, verse 1. And I am reading from the New Living Translation. Because I love Zion, I will not keep still. Because my heart yearns for Jerusalem, I cannot remain silent. This is the key phrase, these two sentences, I will not keep still, I cannot remain silent. Keep those two sentences right here as we go through this devotional. I will not stop praying for her until her righteousness shines like the dawn and her salvation blazes like a burning torch. And with that, let's just have a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pure and acceptable in your sight. And let me speak as it were oracles of God let me not speak on my own initiative, but only as your Holy Spirit is working. We ask for your presence to fill this place now. In Jesus' name, amen. So this is our, this is our, Bible, uh, our Bible for this particular um, devotional. And with that, question of the day. This is just for fun. We do this every week and, and, and it's just for fun. And I love seeing your comments on here. And I'm going to check how I can do this. But 
you know, I really want to, if you can post it on the comments, what your favorite meme or viral video is, please do that. And I'm going to tell you what my favorite viral video is. It's this goat. <laughs> it's a goat. And this goat is like, just totally back talking to his, uh, to this human. And <laughs> It is the funniest thing I've ever heard. And the sound this goat makes, it, 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 I don't know, it, it makes me laugh every single time. So I'm going to post that on, on the page. Um, I have to find it and it, it's, it's too, it's too difficult to, to actually try and mimic. But anyway, it's a goat video and this goat is like totally bellowing at this, this person. And every time this person talks, the goat interrupts with his, ah! <laughs> I know it's weird. It's, but it's funny and it makes me laugh and I love it. So that's my favorite video. So what's your favorite viral video or meme? And with that, let's get into the devotional. This one is actually, I have a lot of favorite entries, but I really in particular love this one. And it's talking about taking a really meaningful inventory of the voices and influences you are allowing into your life good friends or imposters in this life there are good friends and there are imposters good friends empower you to live the life god has called you to they build up and amplify your voice. Imposters hold you back and silence your voice. Silence and stalling out are not an option. Embrace the good friends, hold them close and protect your relationship with them. Shed yourself of the imposters and don't look back. Mighty warrior, you have a high calling on your life and you must pursue it. Let's look at some key phrases here. Good friends empower you who is empowering you right now good friends empower you to live the life god has called you to they build up and amplify your voice think about that when you have something to contribute not only do they build that up but they amplify it they make it even bigger think about the relationships you have with employers with bible study groups with social media groups with places of worship who is building you up and amplifying you imposters will hold you back and silence your voice they'll place artificial limits on you
when a good friend provides you with critique, they are doing it not you you know you will know the difference between godly iron sharpens iron um reflecting back um speaking the truth in love if they see you getting ready to to walk off a cliff they will hold you back but you'll know it's because they love you and it's a hand of caution and protection and reflection and there's life in it when it's an imposter the intent is not love but control they want to silence you because they don't want any light shining brighter than theirs they put restraints on you because they want to control you that's the difference between loving criticism loving critique reflecting back have you thought about this opening your eyes to a bigger picture and people that simply want to silence you because they don't like what you have to say and it makes them feel smaller because you are bigger does that make sense give me some feedback on this right now go ahead and place in your comments i'm going to take a quick look here and see if i can see Oh, here we go. And we're going to hear a little echo here. I'm going to take a quick look here. And I'm just taking a peek here to see. Okay. I'm not seeing any comments yet, and that is just fine. Um, but uh, when you do make comments, I'm watching now, so I'll be able to see them. I've got it on my cell phone. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Let me know if you've got questions. Let me know if anything here is unclear and I will be happy to clarify it. So again, we're talking about the difference between good friends and imposters. Now let's look back at this scripture again. Because I love Zion, I will not keep still. When Isaiah wrote this, he was writing about his purpose. His purpose was to be a megaphone in God's kingdom to the nation of Israel, also known as Zion. And he was being told by his opposition to keep still, be silent, don't speak. But his heart was a heart of love for Zion, for Israel. He saw Israel getting ready to get into some deep trouble. And he was interceding for them. He was advocating for them to come back to the Lord in righteousness. This was his call from God. And because he loved Zion, he would not keep still. When you are moving in a direction of your calling and someone attempts to silence you, restrain you, diminish you from that calling, that's not okay. You have a life call from God a purpose that you were ordained for by your creator from the foundation of the world. You cannot keep still. He goes on to say, because my heart yearns for Jerusalem, I will not remain silent. 
I can, I cannot remain silent. You, well, let me think of it this way. Let's talk about it this way. Isaiah's calling was clear. Isaiah's purpose was clear. And he was compelled by the spirit of the Lord inside of him to keep proclaiming the word of the Lord to the nation of Israel. You cannot remain silent. And your friends, your sincere friends, your sincere brothers and sisters in the Lord would never force you to remain silent or keep still when it comes to your calling from the Lord. They will empower your calling. They will equip your calling and they will lovingly refine you in the direction and finesse of your calling. So let's think about this right now. Take an inventory, grab your journal or whatever instrument you use to process your thoughts. Maybe it's a sketch pad, maybe it's a lump of clay, Maybe it's your voice recorder on your phone, but ask yourself these questions. Who is influencing you right now? Think of everybody who's influencing you right now. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's an author. Maybe it's a um, YouTube influencer. Maybe it's a podcaster. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's an employer, a supervisor, a Bible study leader. Who is influencing you right now? Think of all of them. Now, think about each one and ask yourself, what are they speaking into my life? How, how do you feel when you're done speaking with them, when you're done being in the same room with them? <laughs> and how are they moving you in the direction of love? Love will always equip you Love will always leave you feeling stronger, even if they had to speak a, a difficult word to you. I have friends who will always tell me the truth, and sometimes it's uncomfortable. I mean, it's not like, gee, your hair looks terrific, right? It's something like, you know, Donna, I don't, I don't know about that. They may disagree with me. They may see it from a different angle, but you know what? I always feel stronger for having been in their presence. Hey, Susan. And hey, Marin. Good to see you. I always feel stronger for having been in their presence. I always feel more capable, more empowered to fulfill my purpose. So yeah, having people in your life speaking life to you doesn't mean they always agree with you, doesn't mean they always see things the same. It just means that when you have left their presence, you feel stronger, 
you feel healthier. You feel like you're supercharged to move forward. And it is always in the direction of love. Love and good works. So my challenge to you as you journal these things is to think about the people influencing your life and ask yourself, are these good friends or are they imposters? It's a difficult one. It, it, it isn't always easy to process this, but it is vital. It's vital to your calling. It is vital to your physical and spiritual well being. Keep those people around you that sharpen you, that empower you, that encourage you, that speak the truth in love that reflect back to you in a way that you can process and move forward. Get rid of the people that are holding you back, that are trying to control you, that are trying to press you and squeeze you into their image, not the image of God. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> So go ahead and share me share with me your comments. Susan and Marin, it's really nice to have you join us here. And let me see if I've got some other comments here. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you all participating in this. And again, share those uh, favorite memes and those favorite viral videos. I'm going to share mine if I can find it, my goat. <laughs> And lastly, don't forget about the new transformed journal. If you would like the new transformed journal to go with the devotional, then you can just email me at uh, breathe life or excuse me, breath life ministries, Donna at Gmail or just messenger me um, on Facebook. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow for our expert interview with author Grace Gross. And um, again, next week, Transform Tuesday, we'll be back with you. So God bless. Have a great day. Love you much. And please do leave your comments and share this video. Bye-bye now. First, I got to stop the share and I got to dive in here. Love you much. God bless.